right, welcome back. So today, we are gonna do a couple of things. Um, one, I've got, I don't know if you guys can see or if the camera will pick it up, but I got some pretty good scratches going on right here on my Losi body from all the rollovers. So I'm gonna show you guys how to, uh, how to remove some of these scratches. Um, this will not work on bodies, on plastic bodies that are painted on the outside, only if they're painted on the inside with a very shiny reflection on the outside. As you see, I've got some pretty good scratches going on right here, right in here, right up in here, and definitely on the roof right up in here. Every time I hit the brakes and this thing would flip over at the end, it was causing some scratches. But because it didn't hit the decals, which is perfect decal placement, I have to say, from Losi, because none of the decals really got damaged, which is very impressive. I did have a light pop off, but found it, re-glued it back on. Bumper's been doing really, really well. I do have some scuffing going on in the bumper. But I want to get it cleaned up and uh, we're going to get it put back in the box. Um, and I'm going to ship it back to Losi so that they could take a look at this uh, rear diff. That's why the box is here. So here is uh, what I use. All products from 3D. This is, and they're label, labeled step one. Step two, and this 3D epoxy is step three. So this is a headlight repair kit, which will come with these uh, three components from the company called 3D. Um, so as you see, adaptive abrasive technology, adaptive abrasive, abrasive technology. This is 501, 502. These are different rubbing compounds. Uh, for plastic and that's why I use them <clears throat> and then they have two different sanding discs uh, one I believe is uh, 1500 and one is a thousand or here's the 1500 and that's the thousand so the blue ones are the thousand that'll be the final sanding this will be the rough sanding to get rid of those grooves. And then from there, we can go ahead and polish it out so it's not so dull. And believe it or not, all these scratches will disappear. It's really, really a cool way of doing it. And then there are three different polishing discs that we'll use with the machine. Um, and then I like to do these. You can do these wet or dry. Um, they suggest doing them, I think, with their um, detailing spray is what they use. So I'll show you how to do that as well. Um, I will have to get my machine set up um, for that. So I really want to show you how that process works. I have done it in the past but we're gonna show you again. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this box and make sure that I have everything inside of it. So that I can put this thing away. Just messing around. We are not gonna be sending the red one back this is just my blue one that finally, finally came in. And uh, I'm happy it's here. I do have a little scratching on the front again. Um, but like I said, I had ordered both of these, the blue and the red. They both came in, but somebody at the hobby store really wanted one. So I let them take mine and we reordered it. I truly... Whenever I, I, I like an RC, um, and I like it to the point where I buy another one, um, that's how you know it's, it's really a good RC 
And I'm not messing around when I say I enjoy um, the low C and low C quality. To me, even their packaging, if you look at it, the way they raise this up, let me get this moved out. The way these things are stored in the box, if these wheels are touching the ground, kind of like Traxxas's are boxed up, when these things are sitting flat on the ground here and not raised up like they have it, what happens is it puts a flat spot in these tires. And then you get it out of the box and then you get a lot of shaking, a lot of vibrating or vibrating, vibration when you're running the RC and you really think something's wrong when all that happened is the tires are out around. Um, and as you see, Losi takes care of their product and what they do is they set it up like this. Very smart. Um, I do wish that they would put a plastic shrink wrap over the body so the bodies aren't getting scratched up, but I can get the scratches out. I'm not worried about that. I just, I'm happy that I don't have to buy tires because of the way they package them. But there we go. There's the blue one. And like I said, for me, um, one of them is gonna become a fully modded um, RC. So I'm gonna take out the electronics. I'm going to, uh, like I said, we've already started with this one. So this one, I'm gonna change out the electronics. We're gonna get it going as fast as I possibly can. Um, I really, I think Losi hit the nail on the head with this platform because right out of the box, the thing, uh, the thing just performs. And it performs very well. Now they are set up really low. So I already know to raise them up. I already know to, to tape these things. So um, I definitely love the clear window look. The amount of time they put into these bodies um, for this, I think is, is great. They did an awesome job. Let me get this window closed. Um, I noticed with the blue one, there's no, uh, there's no window trim like this. And I thought the blue one had window trim, but I don't see any, any window trim around any of the windows. Um, so this one looks more like a streetcar version of having the little dots on the window, um, like it's plex in and screwed in. This looks like a real car that somebody modified. Um, the other thing I notice is that the rear wing on this one has got a ray spot, but it's off to the side, not in the center like my first one. Um, don't know why that is, but you just got to admire the looks of these things. You guys have seen the red one on my channel a lot. And the other thing you got to watch, look at that wire. See how it's hanging out on the body? You definitely have to be careful of where the light wires are. I've, uh, I've had to tape mine up several times because it's so long, it literally will rub on that rear tire. So you have to be careful with that when putting this body on. Now the Trax's body goes on a lot easier um, than, than uh, this body. But the looks of this Camaro, definitely a favorite of mine. And I think I had a, took my strap off. I'll have to locate it. Oh, it's, it's in there. But you guys have already seen a bunch of unboxings of this low C. So I'm going to go locate my, uh, my, uh, polisher so that we can get some scratches removed. I really want to show you how, how that's done. So we'll be right back when I get all that set up. All right. So not ideal, but I can't find my small pad. So I'm going to have to use a large pad, which normally I have my spot detailing pad, which I can normally use 
but can't find it. So we are going to use the larger pad. And we're going to go their route. And I'll have to get another small pad. So we're going to start out with the 1500. Normally I would attach these to my machine and do it that way to make it quicker, but I can't find the adapter. So I'm going to do it by hand. Apply a little tape so I don't damage the sticker by accident. Okay, most of the deep scratches are out there, and it seems to always happen on a crease.
clean it off the sandpaper. Good. Now we're going to grab some lighter sandpaper, the 1000. We're going to do the same thing, repeat over the same areas. Now that we got that stuff sanded up, I'm going to grab a rag, we're going to wipe it off, and then we're going to start the polishing. Alright. Try to get all this dirt and dust off this body. Now that I got the decals protected from this fender and this roof line, 
we are going to use stage one. So here's step one. Pretty aggressive uh, compound. Right, so as you can see, the major scratches are gone. And now we're gonna polish it out. So 
So we're gonna move on to step two. I'm gonna use a different section of this pad and we're gonna apply that and then we're gonna polish it off with the same pad. This is just a finer uh, rubbing compound. Now remember, this is meant for headlights. And the bodies are just clear Lexan, which are pretty much headlights. And I'm sure you can use a kit. And then, because this is a lighter one, I don't have any deep scratches, but we are going to remove all the scratches that I do have. Right. You can see all the deep scratches are out now. Got a little dulling over here. So This is still the two.
Now I'm going to flip it over and use the epoxy, the epoxy which is stage three. 3D epoxy. Doesn't take much of the product. Peeled off. This is basically a wax to fill in the fine scratches. There we go. Normally I'll take a little bit more time, but there you go. All the deep scratches are out on the roof line. You can see the reflection now. No scratches down the side. 
that's where it burned through the paint but that's how I removed the scratches on my bodies so keep them looking fresh keep them looking new keep that reflection going so just because you flip it doesn't mean that you ruin it I use an orbital and they do make uh, small pads for the orbital but any orbital you can get at your uh, your parts store would work fine me, I chose to use 3D's product. I want to say their their orbital. Um, I've had that one for going on 10 years, and uh, it's still working good. I use it for my personal cars, and I use it for my RCs. And uh, I want to say that orbital was like I want to say about $200. Um, but ten, like I said, 10 years use. Now you can, whatever orbitals you guys use, I don't know how many people actually, you know, uh, wax their own cars, but I, I do all the car care myself to my real cars. So I transfer it over into my RCs and basically a couple of RC bodies will pay for the orbital. So the blue one that we just unboxed has some fine scratches on the roof. So I'm going to polish those out next. But there you go, guys. That's how I keep my RCs clean, looking good and uh, not ruining the bodies. So hopefully that helps some people. I know some people have asked. That's basically how I get rid of the scratches from the rollover. So the Summit body is looking brand new again. No more scratches on the fender. No more scratches right there. And no more big gouge down the roof line right here. And it is safe for the clear windows. But there you go. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if this helped you out. But that's how I remove scratches. I wish I had my smaller pad um, to accept these because it would make it easier than doing it by hand. But you can do it by hand. It just takes a lot more elbow grease. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching. And we will see you guys on my next video.